November 1988, a shy 17-year-old bread seller was spotted by a model scout on the streets of Lagos, Nigeria. Six months later, she crossed the Atlantic and was signed to Ford Models in New York, where she went on to grace the covers of the world's top fashion magazines and appeared on the catwalks of Milan, London, Paris, and New York. Her name? Oluchi. Now, in 2013, she's headed back to the continent to find Africa's next top model. If it happened to me, it can happen to you. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This is a life-changing opportunity. Her journey will take her to Kenya in the east, Ghana, and her birthplace, Nigeria, in the west, and down south to Mozambique, Angola and South Africa. She will see thousands of girls all wanting to live the same dream. Oluchi definitely is an inspiration to each and every girl that's here. She started from the bottom, literally. If she can do that, I also can do it. But from the masses, only a few will be chosen to battle it out for the title of Africa's next top model. The battlefield? Arguably the continent's most beautiful city and fashion capital, Cape Town. There's nothing like Cape Town. La La Land. It's like, wow. This view is breathtaking. It's so beautiful. <sighs> it's here, in our Camps Bay model house, that the best 12 girls found on the continent-wide scouting trip will live together and fight it out to become Africa's next top model. It will be fierce. Are you trying to be nice? Obviously I'm not comfortable. I'm in a house with females who are moody the whole time. It will be tough. I just hope I do well. Because I am done fighting for you. It will be risque. She's got a lot. And I don't have anything down by there. <laughs> but it will also be beautiful. And this is an iconic photograph. It's the biggest model showdown in Africa, where only the tough survive. As a designer, you're not doing justice to my garment. I know I can't. Who's up for the challenge? This is it. Yeah. Remember, you can't screw this up, huh? And whose dreams will end in tears? It's like going to your first Vogue shoot and messing up. It's been one drama after the other. You're such a beautiful girl. <laughs> not look away and let you go in the wrong direction. This is Top Model Africa Style. Top Model! These bitches that gotta go home, I'm here to stay, they need to go. So this is it. The journey to find the first Africa's next top model has begun. Let's do it. The search for Africa's next top model started six months ago with a scouting trip that would cover thousands of kilometers and cross numerous borders. For Oluchi and model scout director Maria, the trip around the continent would put them in touch with thousands of girls from very different cultures who all have one thing in common. I've entered Africa's next top model because I want to be the first Africa's next top model. I dream it, I, I sleep it. I want to be African Next Top Model. They all want to be Africa's Next Top Model. I think I've got all the qualities. I think I'm pretty, so I think I deserve it. <laughs> there was no shortage of confidence. But before they can take the title, there are some basic things every model needs. I'm looking for figures, sample size. I'm always going to look at the face, though. I think they're looking for a beautiful personality. They're looking for someone who is confident. Someone who's really interested in the modern industry. Basically, she's looking for a goal of personality and drive. I am looking for girls that are at least 5'7". So, we are now going to measure you. Everyone below 5'7 will be asked to leave. Thank you for your time. a 
competition. If you want to do this, you got to get stronger, okay? Because nobody else, like, I, it's okay. It's okay. I know. I don't know. I just, this meant everything to me, and I can't believe I didn't go through it. I couldn't believe it. I mean, <laughs> stop it. So while some dreams ended before they really began, Oluchi did find some amazing talent. Congratulations, you're coming to Cape Town. But after seeing thousands of girls, only those with the best modeling potential were chosen to fly down to Cape Town and compete for the most coveted title in modeling. Just 12 girls, all with the same dream and the same ambitions to get the best room in the model house. Now I want to go see my room. Uh -huh. Biggest one is mine. I'm, I'm in room three. I'm, I'm in room three. Bitches, I just can't watch you guys do that I'm not going home. I have to just win this. This bed is so nice. Wow. Who's left to be in there? What? Oh my God. Are you Nobody serious? I can't wait to just chill. How many? Are you serious? How many of these cases do you have? Hi, I'm a Mao Milk Mother Day. I'm 23 years old. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. Hi. Uh -huh. Hi. It's a Luchi. Oh, when a Luchi called me, I was like, whoa! You serious? God damn it. I'm coming up. Congratulations. You're coming to Cape Town. Being in the top 12 is a major big trip. Seriously, great true of the year of my life. Anyway, I'm here to stay. I'm here to win. I'm not here to stay one night like this. What, what is this? This is the suitcase. This is the suitcase. Did you pack for one day? Wumi is actually taking up all the space in our room, and I'm just gonna kick her ass and say, "Yo, move to the other end, way over there." Wait, too. I thought you're going to walk with me. So That's your bed. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. No, you will be with me. This particular Nigerian sister of mine, Wumi, she's like, talk, 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 like chit chat everywhere in your face. Yeah, so what? I speak a lot. What's my business? If you are here to go ahead, I don't want to be quiet. I don't want to be, I want my voice to be heard to Africa. Wumi talks so much. She never stops. She loves the camera. She's always having something to say. She never stops. I think she might drive me crazy. I don't know. Yeah, Who's gonna kill me in this room? <laughs> she will kill me. These bitches, I gotta go home. I'm here to stay. They need to go. Yeah, I'm finished. Here we go. I went to the casting in Ghana and. The Ghanaian girl saw me like Nigerian girl in Ghana. What are you doing here? Go back to your country. I'm like, oh, bitch, I'm here to audition. I want to become African next summer. I want to use the opportunity in this country. Oh, so you don't live in Accra? I traveled eight hours down here this here. morning. Woohoo! And I think I can represent Accra, Ghana. Sorry, I'm from Nigeria, but I want to do it for my Ghanaian sisters because we are Africa. So I can represent you guys well. If you support me, give me the chance. I could be one of the three girls and I'll do it well. Woo, I enter Africa next top model because it's always been my dream of being, you know, being big, you know, being the cover girl, you know, top magazines and you know, being seen everywhere. I think those bitches need to go home now because I'm winning them. <laughs> Oma Wumi from Nigeria was the first girl to be chosen for the top 12 but she was not the only Nigerian to make the cut. My name is Joyce, and I'm 24 years old. I'm representing Lagos, Nigeria. Back home, I'm a model, and that's how I earn a living. I entered this competition because it's a great platform, and any model should be associated with it. Joyce with a horrible bad weave. Hello. Joyce? Yes, good morning. It's Oluchi calling. When she called me, I was like, is this a prank call? And I looked at the number again, and she said, this is Oluchi. I'm like, Congratulations, you're coming to Cape Town. The casting in Lagos was 
mad. Like it was crazy, there were so many girls and to be the only one selected is mind blowing. You wanted, why is the hair though? Tell me, I want to well, Besides um, the fact that you thought it was pretty. Yeah, besides her, uh, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm majorly into pageants. So I'm already used to having this wavy, pretty girl look. So I wanted to go different. I'm tired of looking ordinary. I don't like looking ordinary. Being in the top 12 out of thousands of girls that audition is, it's just mind blowing. It just shows the world that we have something to give and we're going to give it. I'm here to show the world that I'm not just a model, I'm a model that has something to show. I've seen the show on TV and now I'm in the show, like I'm leaving it, I'm part of the show. Wow, like, wow is the word. <laughs> I don't know what other words to use, wow. Joyce may have been the only Nigerian from Lagos to be chosen, but there was another Nigerian that caught Oluchi and Maria's eye. Okoyemi. Hi. It's Oluchi. Oluchi, hi. When Oluchi called me, I was like, what? <laughs> like, seriously? <laughs> okay, so you're coming to Cape Town for the show. Yeah! <laughs> Okoyemi is beautiful. She's tall, she has amazing skin. You know, she stands out. I am Okoyemi Awiyemi. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. Even though I live in Lagos, I came to Cape Town for the auditions and I'm really happy I made it out of all the girls that came to Cape Town. And have you modeled before? Yes, locally. So why do you want to be a part of a reality TV show? I've just been modeling locally, doing fashion shows, because I was studying and now I'm done, I'm free. <laughs> you know, to do whatever I want to do. That's why I'm here. All right. I want to be an international model, and that's why I came in for this competition. Coming up, three Nigerians in the top 12 already. But these girls were not here to make friends. <laughs> this is going to be war. South Africa, destination of choice for Africa's next top model. Uniquely different and proud of it. 0809 Jaffa Life. Quality brands by P&G. Helping you look and feel your best. I'm almost there. I still have a little part to look at. My name is Rosalind Ashka. I am 21 years old and I'm representing Accra, Ghana. My goodness, sister. Relax. Relax. You know we did this together. You know when we say Charlie, relax. You know we Charlie, did this Charlie, relax. <laughs> relax. Uh -huh, relax. So, as the head of this house, I'm in a room with three Nigerians. How is it that? have been put here with three Nigerians, why? <laughs> you know, Nigeria is so close to Ghana. I see them all the time. They're in my face everywhere I go. We need some variety yeah. in this room. We can't have all more Niger all over. Oh, why? Yeah. Really, all the Nigerian girls in the same room? <laughs> this is going to be war. Like, Clash of the Titans. Yeah. She likes me, I'm like, taking Oh, okay, 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 I'm fine. Three Nigerians. One Ghanaian, oh my God, what's going on? I don't understand, you want, you want us to kill us? It's, it's rough, but what can I do? I just have to stay with it like that, you know? So back home, I am a producer, radio producer, and I'm still studying, and I do a little modeling on the side, but not, I'm not a professional yet, so that's why I'm here. So the casting in Ghana was, when I got there, there were so many people, it was just, Never wrecking, I think. Obviously, we're looking for girls with a lot of confidence. Someone that can represent Accra, Ghana. I noticed Rosalyn when I walked, when I initially walked in to say hello to the girls, she was sitting all the way in the back and she was a little Miss Diva on her own. At the casting, when Oluchi noticed me, it's, the first thing she said to me was, you have too much makeup on, I can't see your face. Go rub it off and come back in. I'm like, oh my God, is this it for me? Am I, is, is it over? Much better. <laughs> yeah, you had too much makeup on, I couldn't see your face. Okay, it's fine now, naked face. Next up model is the biggest platform, I think, that can put me out there internationally. 
Roslyn became the fourth West African to arrive at the house, and it looked like her and her roommates were not a match made in heaven. But in the next room, a South African plot was hatching. So you South African? Yes, I'm definitely black. Okay, and you, I know you South African. Yeah. yeah. So I'm feeling a team bag. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Three South Africans, one room. Power. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to the top. Because the with the competition getting up and the motions are going yeah. on, the girls are gonna start fighting and if they we are. stick together. They are. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna take this. Us South African girls, we've actually spoken and we decided we're gonna stick together as a team. But I'll see, maybe there's a little bit unraveling going, you know, as soon as the challenges start, you never know. Give me a high five on that one. High five, high five, group high five. Us <laughs> South Africans were like sisters already and we're taking these other girls down. Because we wanna be on top. I'm Shiano from Black, I'm 20 years old and I'm representing Cape Town, South Africa. Africa's next top model, welcome to Mother City. I'm a full-time psychology student at UNISA and I model a little bit on the side. Walking into the room and seeing Oluchi sitting there, I mean, it's like your heart's racing, you don't know what to think, you're just like, okay, just stand right, just breathe and like, just be yourself at the same time. And it was, it was amazing because, you know, this is a space where your life can change. But, like, besides your fear, you jump in and you take a chance. Hello, Shanga speaking. It's Aluchi speaking. When I got the call from Aluchi, I was actually busy with this stupid promotion, okay? I was in store and I left my um, little stand just there. I was like, flip, these people can take chocolates, I don't care. You're going to be a part of the show. Are you kidding? Oh my God, I'm like, oh my God. I don't even know what to say. Oh my God, oh, thank you. And I was just like, Oh my god, I can't believe this. I think I'm gonna cry. And she's like, it's okay, you can cry. I think I'm gonna cry with the ball. I'm gonna like just start crying because we love what's going on. <laughs> That's okay, it's okay to cry. <laughs> it's obviously every girl's dream to be a next top model, to go to New York and have a big contract with a big agency. And it's just, I mean, it's, it's every girl's dream. On a scale from one to 10, I'll say 11, that's how bad I want to win this thing. <laughs> I love laughing. <laughs> Your laughing oh. makes me laugh. <laughs> you guys just bonded. My name is Michelle Allen, I'm 22 and I'm representing Cape Town, South Africa. 2410, come on down. I'm a full-time model and actress. I've done work in the industry, stalls, commercials, runway, but I just want to take it to the next level. The casting. I arrived mid-afternoon and it was really nerve-wracking. Really nerve-wracking. I never thought I'd be someone to cry, and I cried. I was that girl. I'm going to ask you a hard question. OK. Tell us about your sister. <laughs> Sorry. Four years ago, my sister passed away, and she's a big part of who I am today and why I strive to be something big. I did sure. not make her make I didn't. Cry. I didn't read no, the that's application. Fine. I always, you always wrote some beautiful like, things about her, and I. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, hey, I've got this now, and it just hits me every time. It's okay. I had to ask because you wrote beautiful things about her. I didn't read the application. No, it's fine. What um, happened? What's... <laughs> my sister passed away about going on five years ago from cancer. She just plays a huge role in who I am today. Thank you for sharing with oh, us. Thank you. Being in the top 12 is huge. I don't think it's set in yet though, that there were thousands of girls that wanted this and wanted to be here. So, it's pretty rad. Having the show in my hometown, Cape Town, I wouldn't say it's an advantage, because I think you should be able to work on top form wherever you are in the world. So, it's nice that I didn't have to fly far away, but. Cape Town was not the only South African city to host a casting. The financial hub, Johannesburg, had one of the biggest turnouts of the trip. But loads of girls doesn't always mean loads of winners. 
By mid-afternoon, after we had seen about 400 girls, there was a time when Aluchi actually said out loud, as, you know, where are all the beautiful girls? I was told South Africa has the most beautiful women. I've been sitting here for an hour and I haven't seen one. Even though we had such a huge turnout in Johannesburg, we ended up just shortlisting two girls because a lot of the girls that showed up were just too similar and they were just not what we were looking for. No thank you. Thank you, ladies. No thank you. None of you from this group. Thank you, ladies. No. Nine. No. 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 No! I'm Rulani, I'm 20 years old. I'm representing Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm in high school, I'm actually head girl, and I really want to get into modeling. How do you deal with people that intimidate you? Firstly, <laughs> firstly, I show them confidence. I make sure that I speak very clear and I show them that I'm confident. That's how I deal with them, which also intimidates them. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. I have no modeling experience at all, so I'm here and I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I wanna win. Being in the top 12 is a blessing. It feels great. I don't know how to explain the feeling, but it's, it's wonderful. I feel numb, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm happy. Three South Africans, three Nigerians, and a Ghanaian have taken up the first seven spots in the top 12. Stay tuned to find out which other countries represent in the first ever Africa's Next Top Model. South Africa, destination of choice for Africa's Next Top Model. The best moments always become great memories. As the biggest card payment solution in the country, Verve always gives you more. So make every moment count with Verve. Verve, get more out of life. Stay in style with Snap. Visit Snap Nigeria on Facebook. Quality Brands by P&G. Helping you look and feel your best. Hello, next top model. There's so many beautiful girls here that we got to make sure that we get the prime group. So, on to the next slashing session. We're calling it Slash and Burn. Kenya and Nairobi was everything that I wanted and more. The girls were extremely diverse in their look. They were so tall. They were so beautiful. And what was even more perfect was the fact that we had girls from neighboring countries, like Uganda, Tunisia. That's the Tunisian girl. The Tunisian bombshell. Hi. Hiya. My name is Marwa. Uh, I'm 22 and I'm from Tunisia, but I'm living in Kenya right now. I recently started a business in Kenya, which is basically important fashion brands from all over the world. And I do uh, some modeling on the side. You mentioned in your application how you have a hard time with dealing with lack of privacy or people in your things. How are you going to deal with that in the house with 11 other girls? The only one problem that's going to happen if we are kind of a bunch of people living together, I don't want to feel insecure and I don't want to not trust people. So I would prefer to have people that they are trustable, of course, but otherwise I'll have to deal with it. Basia from Tunisia is one of the reasons why our scouting is so worth it because, you know, she happened to be at the right place at the right time. She literally just moved to Kenya from Tunisia. It was a perfect fit. And she's beautiful. I think she's a little mixed sex bomb. Yeah. Is this Pfizer? No. Is this Pfizer? 
It's a Luchi calling. Yeah, how many talking? Oh, hi. Uh, a Luchi called. I picked up the phone and she said, you are going to Cape Town. You are coming to Cape Town? No, what? No, no, I take some moments to realize what's going on and then just went, Yes, I am not joking. I wouldn't call you to joke with you. You are coming to Cape Town. It was amazing. I mean, I was super happy and it, it was exciting. Yeah. Yeah, let's look. I kill all the other girls to win this. That's what I can do and how bad I want it. Wow, nice house. Just wow. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's awesome. Stunning, yes. Yeah. It is. Would you like a drink? Yeah, sure. What? You, uh... you look tall. <laughs> you are tall. Oh, well. I'm Amita, I'm 20 years old and I'm representing Uganda. South African Amita. call me Wami. <laughs> You're from Nigeria. You are Yemi from Nigeria. Yami Umi. This room is filled with no, 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 Nigerians. Yemi. Yemi <laughs> Umi. This room is filled with Nigerians right yeah. now. That's surprising. Oh, wow, nice. Everyone seems to be really nice. I am enjoying the attitude they have. It's very positive. I hope it stays like this. There's no one who's been arrogant so far. So tell me, I, I don't mean this, you don't have to answer. How tall are you? 5'11". How tall are you? Mm, just 5'7". Don't say ouch. Ouch. Oh, thanks. <laughs> right now, I work as a sales girl in my mom's shop. Uh, and I do a little modeling. I entered this competition because I feel I have potential and I can be a really great model and represent my country very well. I went to the casting in Nairobi. Uh, because I live far away from Nairobi, about 16 hours on road, I reached tired and I had like eye bags and all these things. I didn't look really fresh. And I arrived and all the girls looked amazing. I just wanted to get a bus and go back home. When I saw Luchi, she was very intimidating. I mean, it's like, like a supermodel standing in front of you. It's so intimidating. I just wanted to run out. But she was already there in front of me, so I sucked it up. Where are you from? Uganda. You're from Uganda? Yes. How did you come out? I came in a bus. I arrived this morning. How, how many hours is that? 16. About 16. You took a bus from Uganda to Kenya? Yeah. 16 hours? Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. I got this phone call and it was a Luchi. Okay, congratulations, you're coming to Cape Town. I, I, can't, I can't describe how I felt. Like it was, I was so excited, I couldn't scream. I was just numb. I was, I was like... Oh my God, thank you so much! Yay! Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so sorry, oh my God. After the phone call, I went screaming outside the house, yeah, but that was after the phone call. Was she crying or was she ex I mean, that was a mixed reaction. She was crying and laughing at the same time. Being in the top 12, I, I, I don't know what to feel. Like, I'm so excited that I don't know how to express it. I kind of feel numb. I hope it sinks in later. I hope it does. 1704. There was one story that actually broke all of our hearts. There was a beautiful girl that came all the way from Australia, flown from Australia to Nairobi to audition. You live in Australia? Yeah. And you came out for this? Yes. Just for the show? Yes, for you the show. You came for the audition from Australia? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and you're originally from where? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Why did you choose Kenya? It's like, I felt my, the stars aligned for me. That's a moment when I had enough funds to buy a ticket and come here. So I actually had an opportunity knowing that if I don't do this now, I would, I would regret it all my life. So it's something that I had to do. Welcome. So how old are you? I'm Sorry. 26. 26, okay. Yeah. Took a risk at 26. Nice story. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Though this girl's beautiful and she had the potential to be a model, I kept saying she would be great in like a mobile phone ad, whether I see her on a Catwalk, no. Whether I see her doing a fashion editorial, no. Don't Thank you. cry. I know you came all the way from Australia. It was just really, really hard. Okay. You made your dad proud, okay? Okay? I got this. 
I don't know, man. You know, I'm just glad that I'm not going to be the person saying that, you know, I regret that I never did it because now I actually came. And, you know, it's something I can be proud of. I mean, I'm really sad, but it's something that I will be proud of. And, you know, like, I did do it. I wanted her to be this stunning beauty who could walk down a Givenchy catwalk. She's not going to be that. And I had to make sure that I kept saying, is she going to work, as opposed to, I want this to work. So that was very, very hard. What do you think of them? The girls? Yeah. So far, I can't judge, because I, can't, I don't really know them, but, but yeah, they're, they're no cool. Judging. I just mean, like, everyone is they're so fun. different. Yeah. They're all pretty girls, you know, so that's, I don't know. That's, that's competition. I really don't know which side what they're looking for. Hi, I'm Steffi. I'm 20 years old and I'm representing Kenya. The casting in Nairobi, wow. I walked into the room. I see Aluchi is gorgeous, six foot something tall. I'm speechless, starstruck, everything, name it. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself together even towards the end of the audition. I was still freaked out because of how beautiful she is and how successful she is. 1949, can I ask you to pull up your hair for me, please, sweetheart? Hide that pretty face. <laughs> Don't need to do it. How old are you? 20. You're 20. Meeting her was an honor. Uluchi is somebody I do look up to. You've been waiting for that call literally for a couple of weeks. I locked myself in the bedroom and I'm like, hello. And she's like, it's a Luchi. I'm like, wait, is this a prank? Congratulations, you're coming to Cape Town. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God. I'm a huge top model fan. So being on the show, wow, you have to live it to experience it and to really understand what really is top model. Growing up, I was always a weird kid. I was tall, skinny, lanky. Big rabbit teeth. Yeah, they're still big, but not that big anymore. So being told you're in the top 12 to be in Africa's next top model out of thousands of girls, it's amazing. It's a feeling every girl wants to feel. I like the two South African girls. At least yeah, you can I... know lots about Cape Town from them. Yeah, a lot from them. Uh, one is Michelle and the other one is a complicated name. The model house is filling up with a Tunisian, a Ugandan and a Kenyan added to the mix. You tell me. But when models and cultures collide... I will be honest, I do get a little bit on edge when people automatically just judge me. <laughs> Stay tuned. South Africa, destination of choice for Africa's next top model. Uniquely different and proud of it. 0809 Jaffa Life. Etisalat, now you're talking. Uniquely different and proud of it. 0809 Jaffa Life. Quality brands by P&G. Helping you look and feel your best. Welcome to Mozambique. Finally here we have Maputo Mozambique. Good morning, Mozambique. I am so happy to be here. I hope we find the most beautiful girl. Can you walk down to us? Stop on the mark. That's okay. Come walk to us, please. All of you. Okay. Turn 
around. You stay here, baby. Don't leave. Maria, this is not working. And um, we need a translator. Because they don't understand. Yeah. I can't yeah. communicate. Can we get a translator, you guys? In the beginning, before the translator came in, Aluchi was giving a lot of direction, move here, go there, and she's trying to do this in her broken Portuguese, a little Spanish, and her English. It was like herding cats. A lot of them are not um, trained models, so obviously they, they come in, they don't know what to do, they don't know what to expect. Thank you, Nelson. You have to help us out. <laughs> you have to help us translate There's a little it. bit of a language barrier, so yeah. you could sort okay. it out for us. Thank you, Nelson. Hello. Where are you going? <laughs> Bring it back, boo. Thank you. Obrigado. Come forward, please. Advancing forward. Advancing. Basta. Turn around, sorry. Virens. And tell them to turn back to me. OK, virens novamente para nós. Are you nervous? <laughs> Is she nervous? <laughs> Why are you nervous? Why are you nervous? Just you ask me. My name is Safira. I'm 20 years old. I'm in Mozambique. Então, eu já participei do Fashion Week. Participo quase sempre, né? Mozambique Fashion Week. Meu primeiro ano foi em 2010. E também fiz fotos para para a Mozeleb, mais duas edições da Mozeleb. So you're making it to the next round. Próxima eliminatória. Parabéns. Uh! <laughs> Thank I love you. the haircut. I only speak well Portuguese, English, not so much. I try a bit. My fear for Safira is her marketability. Though there are a lot of models who come from different countries and are not able to speak English, um, it can make it a challenge. Especially with Portuguese, this isn't like she can, she's French or Italian. Portuguese is not actually a universal language spoken within the fashion industry. So will she be able to work with fashion directors, photographers, take direction, be able to find her way through castings, be able to find her way through go sees So um, that's kind of a strike against her as well. Bom dia, como está? O Luci speaking. Oh, yeah. You are coming to Cape Town, Sefira. Yes, really. Oh my God! Thank you, thank you. E quando me ligaram para confirmar que eu vinha a Cape Town, eu fiquei muito feliz. E eu estava à espera, na verdade. Eu fiquei muito feliz. Pois para estar bem. I see you few weeks. I need passport. You need passport. Don't worry, we get you a passport, okay? Okay, you can mail your mail. Yes. Obrigada. Tchau, tchau. Tchau, tchau. She says I need a passport. <laughs> that was so cute. She doesn't have a passport. <laughs> She's like me. I'm coming. Okay, thank you. But I need a passport. Tom <laughs> Tom is very good. Seems as though you're cold. Hi, Joyce. So, oh, my wife. Welcome. Okay. Welcome to Cape Town. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you must be exhausted. I'm not speaking English. Uh, oh, 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 it's okay. Oh. You'll get, you'll get comfortable. What do you speak? Portuguese. There are a lot of accents in the house, but I don't understand the Portuguese girls. They speak differently, but I think I'll learn. Hello, girls. Everyone was battling to understand Safira. But at least she had one ally in Michaela from Angola. My name is Michaela. I have 20 years old and I am from Angola, Luanda. I study law and I do a modeling. I like everything in modern and uh, for me it's a, a big pace for my career. I don't know if it's like that, but it's ready. I mean, even just with all accents, it's difficult. So what are you girls talking about? 
We talk about Safira that only speaks Portuguese. What? There's a girl who speaks only Portuguese? Yes. Mm -hmm. The Mozambique. <laughs> Miss Mozambique. Wow. I think there are two Portuguese girls in the house. Yeah, I think I might battle with them and understanding them. Those Nigerian girls are really loud, but at least I can understand what they say. But Michaela from Angola, I really have to listen to what she's saying. For example, you cannot expect a Victoria's Secret model not to talk English because then yeah. that's going to be a big problem because yeah. everybody wants Limited, to talk to them. Limit, huge limitations. They'll be having interviews everywhere, every time, you know. Mm -hmm. They can't not speak English. Oh, well, she needs to learn then. The other gozis are very, very good. It's very long. <laughs> And um, I really, this is a um, serious competition. I don't come for have a friend, I don't come for have a one sister or nothing. I come for a win and uh, I give my best for this. Michaela took the 12th and final spot in the house. And now that everyone was in and settled, <laughs> it was inevitable that with so many different yeah, cultures, nice. not everyone was going to see eye to eye. What's interesting? What's your food? What is it? Risotto. Uh, yeah, risotto, mushroom risotto. She's I a mean. vegetarian, yeah. Are you? Mm. I was joking, I was talking about you. Why? I'm sorry to ask, but why? Uh, just animal rights. Oh, come on. For how I don't long? <laughs> Michelle is so sensitive about this whole vegetarian thing. Um, she's a total believer in animal rights. But I understand. I mean, I like eating organic and saving the world. Mm. <laughs> going green. It's funny, I personally don't agree, I'm sorry, but you tell me you cannot eat meat because you hate the way how animals are treated. If you think about it, why do they, I mean, you know, a cow will get pregnant, yeah, give birth to, 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 to a bull cow. and then we kill it and we eat. I mean, it's still going. It's like we, we're killing dinosaurs and they are gone forever. It's I like... don't like meat myself, but <coughs> I'm not like, yay, any more rights, let's do this now. People are never interested in your protein intake until they find out you're a vegetarian. Like if I was in a situation where I had to run after an animal and eat it because this was my life depended on it now, mm -hmm. then I probably would. But I don't, because I don't believe in the way that animals are force-fed and they, they bred in the most disgusting situations just for you to have a little beef but do you know pasta, do you know what I'm saying? Oh. Well, Misha is vegetarian, I accept that. But she was super sensitive about it and people were talking to her, just trying to prove a point, but she was so kind of not accepting the conversation. She was defending her case. I cannot eat meat because I hate the way how they treat animals and that's so wrong. Well, I respect that, but she was kind of too much into it. And if you even say, okay, you want to be vegetarian, do you know trees have life too? Plants have life. When you cut them off, even if they don't have life, when they cut, like, let's say there's a tree, and you cut it off. That's probably the most response to say, yeah, why am I eating, like, no, why I'm am I eating? Saying, I'm not Something saying that you comes don't from have the right to eat um, just vegetables, but it's not like there's a crime to eating meat. I'm not saying it's a crime, it's just, I, like I said, I have nothing against people who eat meat, it's just not for me, like I, it affects me in a negative way emotionally. Okay. I will be honest, I do get a little bit on edge when people automatically just judge me and other people who have this point of view with the lifestyle that it is. Because I don't judge people that eat meat, so don't judge me because I will get a bit agitated with you. Coming up, for better or worse, all 12 girls have arrived at the model house. But before they can settle in, their first challenge awaits. Now let's get started. Get started with what? Are we already doing something tonight? 